Named ranges are a really cool feature of Google Sheets where you can take any range, a single cell, a column, even a row, and name it a certain name. Every single cell has an address or a reference. This is the sheet invoices A2. Now, if I want to reference that in, say, a new sheet, I have to equals invoices A2. And I have to reference that exact address. However, with named ranges, I can do it a little bit easier. For instance, if I want to reference the entire column A in invoices, I would have to do invoices, question mark, A, colon A, or I can use named ranges. Here, I have selected all of the A column in invoices, and just by clicking in this box above the A and the one here, I can name it. I can name it invoice numbers with a capital N. I can't put a space. It's gonna give you a problem. It's gonna say this name is invalid. It needs to be all one word. In the D column, I can also say dates. Let's say I wanna get the very first transaction in January. That's B2. I can name this first transaction. Now, why is that cool? Because I can go here and go equals first transaction, and that gives me the very first transaction. Even if I sort, the address will be the same. So let's go here. Let's sort by Z to A. Now it's utility bill. If I go back to my reference, it's already changed to utility bill. It's the very first row. Same with if I want to look at numbers. I want to say equals filter invoice numbers and any number where invoice numbers is greater than zero. And there we go. Or is number, right? That's all the numbers. I can put it in a filter. I don't have to remember that it's on the invoices tab and it is column A or column D or column E. I don't need to remember the column number with this named range. If you're looking to create one of these named ranges, you can do it in a number of ways. One, you can select column and do command J and it'll highlight this name box. Or we can select a column or range and just click in the name box. There's one more way we can do this. Select our range, go to data, named ranges, and here it'll automatically create a named range for us, and we can name it here on the right side, invoice amounts. Done. If we're looking for our named ranges, just to check them or to manage them, either delete them, edit them in any way, go to data, named ranges, and there are all of our named ranges for every single sheet. You can see the January sheet here. We can add one by just going here and then creating a new range and selecting a new range here. Sheet 3A colon A, click done. You can also delete them by coming to this named ranges menu, clicking on the edit icon, and then clicking on the trash can icon next to the name. If you hover over it, it'll say delete range. Click that, it'll ask you, are you sure? click remove and it has deleted the named range. You can start using named ranges and make references really easy in your formulas. If you're looking to get more out of Google Sheets than you ever have before, subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets.